Uh, now I'd like to show you some examples of various capacitors. Uh, here's a uh, capacitor that uh, is two plates that we can change the separation distance on. We'll come back and make some measurements on that here in a few minutes. Uh, here's a capacitor, a fairly large uh, value capacitance, an electrolytic capacitor that has a uh, capacitance of, a, of 1,500 microfarads. That's fairly large capacitance as capacitors go. This capacitor is uh, 10.24 microfarads. Uh, here's a uh, number of different capacitors on this tray here. This has a capacitance of 80 microfarads. This one has a capacitance of 0.47 microfarads. Uh, this little one here has a capacitance of 0.1 microfarad. And some of these smaller ones get down in the area of picofarads or smaller even in the case of some of these integrated circuit capacitors. So there's a number of different uh, capacitors. Uh, next I'd like to talk to you about some details of a parallel plate capacitor such as this capacitor that we have here where I can actually vary the separation distance between the plates. And uh, let's talk about the variables that determine capacitance with a parallel plate capacitor. So for a parallel plate capacitor, capacitance turns out to be given by this equation where epsilon is the permittivity constant which is related to the type of material between the plates. A is the area of either plate and D is the separation distance between the two plates. Let's demonstrate how the capacitance depends first on separation distance. So here I have a certain separation distance between the two plates and I measure the capacitance to be 0 .02, 0 0.02 nanofarads approximately. Now I'm going to decrease the separation distance to a shorter value and we're going to see the capacitance increase to a value of 0 0.067 or 0 0.068 Nanofarad. So we see the capacitance increase as the separation distance decreases. Decrease D, we increase C. Next what I'd like to do is show you what happens when I put a material between the plates other than air. We'll take a piece of glass, just this glass plate here, insert between the plates and get the plates as close together as we can here. And it turns out that that equation works best when the plates are close together and when the plates are parallel to one another. So this is an ideal situation for this equation. And we see that the capacitance now with the glass between the plates, which has a much greater uh, dielectric constant or uh, permittivity constant than does the air in the room, the capacitance is now 0.17 uh, nanofarads. And if I now remove the glass, we'll see the capacitance decrease to a smaller value. Capacitance has dropped to 0 0.064 nanofarads, showing that with a larger permittivity constant, we have a larger value for the capacitance. Now let's take a look at the area effect. Here I have a capacitor where I can by uh, turning this knob, I can change the effective area of the, uh, of the plates as they interface with one another. I go to a large area and a smaller effective area. So we see the equation for the parallel plate capacitor, which works approximately for that variable capacitor. If we increase the area, that will increase the capacitance. If we decrease the area, then that will decrease the capacitance. Let me demonstrate that with the uh, capacitance meter. So I'll now connect that to this variable area capacitor. And uh, we see it has a capacitance now of about uh, 0.023 uh, nanofarads. And uh, when I increase the effective area of the plates, that capacitance increases to a value of about uh, 0 0.392, 0 0.393 nanofarads. Okay, and now I'd like to show you uh, one more time that as I decrease the area, or the effective area of the plates, the capacitance decreases. We see the meter there dropping back down to its original value of about 0 0.027 nanofarads 
and uh, showing the effect of change of area on the capacitance. To summarize, uh, capacitance is equal to the permittivity constant multiplied by the area of either plate divided by the separation distance between the two plates for the parallel plate capacitor.